P1, P1. Good morning. So today I'm going to work on demonstrating the differences between the different styles of notching, timber framing. I'm going to start with the old school way, the way that I built this whole timber frame, uh, me and my friend Neil. Absolutely no power tools, just sweat equity. Chisel, mallet, that's it. And then I'm going to try the Burkean style, uh, late 20th century philosopher Matthew Burke. Uh, phenomenal mind. Anyway, I'm going to use his technique and compare that to the Bradleyan uh, Japanese chain mortiser. So I'm going to time each one and see the results. You'll note the time. Gotta see what the hell that is. Kind of torn on the whole helicopter thing. Unbelievably cool, but incredibly invasive. And we're off. Old school. <sighs> no power tools, mallet and chisel. Precisely 20 minutes. And that's for one brace pocket. Let's see the Birkin style with a skill saw and a Forstner bit and clean up with the chisels. So a good reason to measure thrice and cut once. I, uh, I mismeasured everything for the umpteenth time, so I'm glad I double checked before I cut. And we're off. There you have it. We'll mark that right there. That looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine minutes versus 20. So that's a great deal faster. All right, calling in the heavy artillery. Now the caveat being, uh, this rig is new to me. I've done a couple practice cuts on off cuts. So I'm going to be a little bit inefficient with it, but let's just see how it is, you know, how it is for just a kind of a beginner with it. My feeling is it is going to be a lot more efficient, especially with the big through mortises. Start the time right now because the setup is part of the time. Uh, it's unbelievable. It's crazy, this, this rig. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten minutes. But in all fairness, it didn't need to be ten minutes. That's the first notch, the first um, mortise. They're all just for the record. They're all brace mortises uh, for the 45 degree angle brace pockets. They're all brace pockets. And that's the first one that I made with this. And my feeling is that. I can go straight down here when I've been doing 45, and I've only been doing 45 because it's easier, but with this, it's easier. And uh, I believe that that is a lot quicker. I'm not sure though. I'm gonna have to do a couple more. 10 minutes versus nine minutes the other way. And I've done about 20 of those the other way. The other difference is this is green wood. In my previous videos, I've been working down in the foundation and all that wood I cut in 2014. This I cut this year, this summer. This is all red pine, it's a different species, so it cuts a little bit quicker, a little bit easier. Uh, but that, that chain mortiser, that's pretty incredible. 
I just did a through mortise in about four minutes. Through eight inches, two inches wide, five inches long, eight inches deep. Took no time. Pretty unbelievable tool. So, all told, I think the chain mortiser is going to make everything a little bit faster, but I think I'm going to continue doing the Burkean method from time to time. Uh, I'm comfortable with it, and I don't know. We'll see. I'll get back to you on it. Well, I just felled the last, probably the last girt, like the last flat long piece of wood that I'm gonna be needing to mill. I got a couple more pieces I need to mill, but this is gonna be a really big, really heavy, I think really beautiful, eight by 12, 16 foot long uh, red oak. And uh, I notched it in this direction. I connected the farming winch there to it, and it came just perfectly without damaging really any of the other tops. So it's pretty ideal, so. I'm gonna be able to get a few, uh, well, probably a bunch of those splines out of this too. So I've cut a bunch at six feet. And now I'm gonna pull them out of the wood. This is the fun stuff.